So today's a beautiful day for science. Currently we're looking at the activity that occurred at the tail end of 2nd July, an X1.08 solar flare that occurred from region 3354 at 2314 UTC on 2nd July. The event extended quite uh, lengthy into the 3rd of July, so we're actually viewing between 2109 during the beginning of the escalation, UTC on 2nd July to the tail end of where we start to see some of that uh, activity sort of become more or less just the what's left of the reconfiguration and stitching up of where the activity began on 0351 3 July 2023 UTC. The event was uh, quite beautiful and uh, quite extensive but it did not show a significant pattern of any kind of corona mass ejection or more specifically interplanetary corona mass ejection. So again, like taking a look at this uh, activity and then we'll take a look at uh, SOHA satellite and see just, well, it's still clear, but um, yeah. So taking a look at SOHO, we can see here that uh, we don't have any ICME within view of this event. So this is a relatively a clean <laughs> solar flare, as I like to call them, where there's not a lot of plasma being dispersed beyond. And we don't see any ICME. So just a quick note, 1.08 X-class solar flare, no chronomass ejection associated towards uh, a projection or interplanetary chronomass ejection reaching beyond the corona of the sun. And that's pretty much it. Cheers and uh, science on.